Hello, so what I want to do right now is kind of give you the crash course on using the ServoScribe software to uh, program some animations with the uh, printable ESRA. Uh, but before we do that, you have to make sure that you install some software, most notably the Palulu software, because uh, you're going to need the driver to be able to communicate if you're using the Palulu board. And it also comes with this really nice uh, utility which allows you to sort of test things and make sure everything's working. You could even write scripts and various other things with it. Uh, but what I've got here is I've got it all hooked up. Of course you can see this servo where the slider controls the lower jaw. Uh, this one does the smiling mechanism. Uh, what do I got here? The eyes up and down. Now one of the really cool things about this and the Palula board is that you can sort of set the ranges that this thing moves at. Um, for example, the eyes going up and down, uh, it's no coincidence that as I slide the slider all the way down, it happens to get just to the point where it's ready to start colliding, and but it never actually gets there. And it goes up and it never goes so far as to be able to jam. That's done by going to the, the uh, channel settings. And here what you do is you set your minimums and maximum ranges. I think by default it, it turns on to 992 to 2000. So you can see if I set this back to its default, um, and then we come back over here and play with that slider, it's possible to make this thing go down and start jamming into the to the corners. Okay, so what you do is you want to find this, get the slider to the point where it's just hits. Okay, which in this case is about thirteen, well about fourteen hundred, maybe thirteen eighty. We'll go to fourteen hundred. And then we go up, okay, and I've actually went beyond the point where it defaults, uh, put it at 2300 so it'll go a little bit higher up. Okay, so I'm going to go back over here, and I'm going to set this to 1400. I'm going to apply those settings, come back, and you can see now that as I slide it down, it actually doesn't collide and it works really nicely. So we can check all the servos. Make sure everything's working well. Make sure it's communicating. This also, if it's the first time, it helps establish the communication uh, between your computer and the Pogo board. So everything's working great. All my sliders are working. So let me go ahead and exit this out. And we'll load up the ServoScriber software. Um, let me get this up here in the corner. So to use this, it's it's. I think, I hope I made it pretty straightforward and simple. What we're going to do is we're going to have to upload a WAV file. Um, I do have an application here that will convert an MP3 to WAV uh, if you have MP3 files, but it prefers to work with a, with a, uh, a WAV file. Um, I wrote this little thing here. It's me just going So it's a, a simple little, just a babble demonstration. In fact, you can probably overhear it. I'll have a little bit of a echo effect. So what we want to do now is we want to be able to synchronize this to the motion of the servos. And you can do two servos at a time. Uh, recall the, the uh, servo zero was my, my lower jaw. and we'll call this one the smile and we can then come over here and as soon as I click anywhere in this box it's going to start the audio and it's going to start recording so I'm just going to start and see what happens here uh, well it's not a very natural movement it goes kind of the opposite way that you would want to so what I'm going to do, actually let's take a look at this. You can see that it has recorded the, the motions of these two servos. But I'm going to go ahead now and clear it, both of these, and I'm going to switch the axes. Okay. So now I'm going to switch the orientation. And in this case, basically what I want to do is I'm going to move my mouse sort of in cadence with the audio plane. So I'm going to come over here. In this case I know uh, that in this, I flip the axes. This is going to be the the mouth closed and the, with a no smile, and I'll swing it back and forth as the audio plays.
All right, and we can see what we've done so far. Well, not the best, but that's okay for this demo. So I'm going to go ahead and uncheck these, and let's do the next two, which are going to be the eyes. And we'll just kind of go with it here. And we'll play what we've got so far. And you don't have to do two at a time. You can do one. So this will be the x-axis. All right. So I've selected the x-axis. So I'm going to put it here in the middle. All right, and then last we'll do the ears. And again, I have it set on. Well, in this case, I got the. Well, we'll do the. We'll switch it to x axes. Okay, and we'll play all. Okay, and then of course I'll save as. Uh, we'll just call Babel. Uh, we'll call it Babel 2. Okay, so hopefully that was informative, and I'll have links to all this, and I'll see you again soon.